Hi, my name's Dan Toombs. I'm an Alassian admin, and I am here to talk to you today about automation rules and getting started with automation for Jira. Now, a prerequisite for today is either you need to be assistant admin or a project admin. If you are neither, then please make sure you seek help from those that are. Okay, so to get started, head to the chosen project you need, you're going to work in. Click project settings towards the bottom. And once that's finished loading, make sure you select automation rules, which is about halfway down. If this is your first time getting started with automations, then please do check out the library tab. There are lots of really good rules in here, really good templates to get started with. Uh, some really common use cases, such as resolving issues due to inactivity or prompting the customer for a comment. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and just start by creating our own very simple rule. Okay, brilliant. Now to get started with a rule, every rule needs a trigger point. So this is when this thing happens, commit, start committing the rule. Now, very common use cases are when an issue is commented on, transitions or uh, created. Now we're actually gonna go ahead and use the created rule. And depending on the complexity and the desired outcomes of your automation, you may just jump straight into setting an action point. So when an issue is created, go ahead and action something straight away. Or if you need to apply some additional logic, you can use conditions, which is exactly what we're gonna go do. From here, we have a few types of conditions that we can use. The very common use case is an, it, is an if else. So if this happens, do this, else do this, else do this. Otherwise, it, you could use user conditions, you know, is the user a customer or an agent? But most commonly, you find yourselves using issue fields conditions. Now, issue fields conditions is set up just like your JQL. So look for particular fields. In our case, we're going to use issue type. What is the condition that has to be met? Is it an equals, not equals, or a kind of your in or not in kind of statements? We're just going to look for a service request in this particular use case. And there we go. We build our first condition. Now, what we want to do from here, we want to now actually go ahead and action something. So every time a new service request is created, go ahead and do something. Now, we're going to add two different action points. You are not limited by how many additional action points you make from one thing. It really does depend on how complicated your rule needs to be. But we're going to add two different types of actions. The first being a comment. Very simply, here is a new service request. Now, when before saving this, you have a few additional things. You can choose the comment visibility. We're going to keep internal only. And you can actually stop the duplicates being made on this particular issue. The other additional action we're going to add is we're going to actually edit the issue. And we're going to go ahead and update the due date, depending on what's coming in. And we're going to just select using some smart labeling. We're going to just go ahead and put now. And that will basically make sure the due date is always today. Brilliant. We've set up our first basic rule. And we're going to call this the service request update. We're going to turn it on and give it a go. Brilliant. So I've just gone ahead and created a quick issue. Um, as you can see, uh, our new comment has come through from Automation for Jira. Here is our new service request. It has left it as an internal note as we specified. And if I just go ahead and look at the due date, you can actually see it's added in the due date correctly as well. Thank you very much for joining. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.